All right, let me give you a little bit of an idea of my latest project here. It's a thermostat uh, built with an Arduino Mega 2560, something like that, and, uh, and, and just a couple of little seven segment displays, a uh, potentiometer that's used for a knob, and then I've got a big relay here that uh, switches the, the 110 AC on and off, uh, and that's controlled by the Arduino, which gets input from a little temperature IC there called the TMP36 or something like that. Um, reads in an analog voltage, puts it out as as uh, as a Fahrenheit temperature. So right now it's 53 in the garage. Uh, I'm in the garage. We have a, a outdoor wood heater, and those red those red tubes are the um, the water that gets heated by the outdoor heater, there's a incoming and return, um, goes up into this box, and, and here's a big fan blower and radiator thing that the hot water runs through, and then it can get blown out into the garage. So, so what I did was made this circuit, and uh, it, it gets the temperature that it's at right now, which is 53, it compares it to what the what the knob is at, and I'll turn the knob here, and you can see that you can turn it to whatever temperature you want. Uh, right now I have the low being 30, the high being 70. So, I don't know, I think we're gonna keep it around 40, 45, just so it melts the snow and stuff off of the, off of the uh, cars. And so let's try to turn on the heater real quick. Uh, 54 in here now, I'm gonna turn it up to 55. And it didn't work. All right, we got to be a couple degrees higher. I guess I thought, hmm. Let's see if what we need to be at. Okay, three degrees higher. That's a little puzzling. I'll check the code on that here. I know I have I have a a sort of um, in the middle zone, so it's not switching on and off. Say I'm in between two degrees. Uh, it's like three degrees where it'll turn on over the top, and then and then as soon as it gets over the the top degree, it turns off, and then as the temperature goes down, it'll surpass the low threshold, and then. And then it turns back on. So then there's a there's th threshold in between. Anyways, you can hear the you can hear the blower going now, um, and and it will it'll turn off. I think when it gets higher than whatever it's set at, which was 57. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, just not including the um, Arduino, it's probably like 12 bucks to set up. It's just a big big relay and 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 stuff, so works well.